Under construction since 2013, UTP opened a new performing arts complex to the community April 23rd. The pack costs approximately $32 million, with $30 million coming from tuition revenue bonds, a way to fund construction and renovation projects. Other expenses came from the state high education assistance funds and funds from public university through the Texas legislature. The complex takes about 95,000 square footing, boasting four rehearsal halls and an auditorium sitting up to 1,000 people, 700 in the main floor and 300 in the balcony. It really started back with the architects just bringing, you know, bringing some of their ideas to the table. We start looking at those and you just start tweaking things and making them, you know, you know we've, got, we've got elements that, that we want it to, to fit for, for music and dance and theater, but we also want this facility to, to one, be unique for the programs that it serves, but also fit within the, the campus look that we're, that we're trying to achieve as well. And the need came out of just the programs had changed pretty significantly over the last 40 years when you look at what, what theater and dance and music used to be. And um, it was really down to the, the technology of the facility because obviously we didn't grow the internal size of the auditorium, but, but the, um, the quality of the, of the performance hall has changed, you know, um, a thousand fold at this point. But mostly it was, you know, not a need to actually grow it, but, and, and the need to actually, you know, include some more technologically advanced um, spaces for the practice rooms. You know, we didn't really have any good practice areas at all. We, we had six private practice rooms on campus prior to the renovation. We now have you know 40 some practice rooms that, that students can use for anyone from individuals to to small groups quartets and things like that as well as the the major halls that are now in back of the performance hall which will have been a great addition to the to the facility Baylor talked about how the opening of the complex was delayed from its original date in the fall of 2014 due to weather problems he also believes that the building will be a great resource for the Brownsville campus bringing both campuses together going into the UTRGV. Well, I mean, we're, we're still trying to work now how we're going to, to you know, bring the campuses together. But I mean, we do. We do have two distinct campuses at this point. Um, um, I think this will still be a great um, resource for, for the students on the Brownsville campus. I mean, we had certainly the Brownsville campus and students involved in the performances that were going on up here on all of the rehearsals leading up to, to Thursday night's event as well as actually at the event. I mean, we had participation on both campuses. So I think that there's going to be that, that impact RGV wide even though it's located on the Edinburgh campus and it, it was absolutely fantastic I mean when you walk into the actual performance hall itself I mean it just it's just as if you're in another world at that point point. I, I knew it would be great based on what we were trying to achieve within the, the construction and the planning and all that but it has it's just perfect <laughs> and that's what we were trying to achieve that, 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 that absolute per perfect sound and, and an environment that you can just you know kind of immerse yourself in, in what's going on on the stage. And it's, it's an exciting time because I mean we've waited a long time for this facility and it certainly I think has exceeded everyone's expectations as to what as to what it can actually be for all of our students. So we're just we're very thrilled about the whole idea. <laughs> on the opening night people lined up to be the first to step foot inside the new auditorium. Performances were given by students and faculty from UTPA along with the collaboration with the University of Texas at Brownsville showing off the choir, a guitar ensemble, flacotico dancers, wind ensemble, mariachi, and the string and symphony orchestras. It's beautiful, the architecture is awesome. When I walked in, I wasn't sure what I was expecting, but it's, it's so impressive. I think the lobby is awesome where we're standing right now. I think it's impressive, all the couches, everything around it, the decorations, it's just totally beautiful. And inside the auditorium, I was watching them in the intermission, like change the lighting on the stage, watch everything kind of come down from the sky, then move it, put it back up. So it's all just incredibly impressive. It was, like it was amazing. I couldn't, I didn't know what to expect. I didn't know who was performing. And when I came in here, I saw the program, and I was like, this is going to be an amazing show. And I'm walking out of here speechless. It's awesome. It was all amazing. The acoustics in there are perfect. The sound was perfect. The orchestras were great. For more information on the Performing Arts Complex, click on the links in the description below. Don't forget to subscribe to the Pan American YouTube channel, like us on Facebook, and follow us on Twitter. For the Pan American. I'm Michael Aguilar.